shall we? Let's do it. Yep. Right. Destiny 2's Curse of Osiris expansion launches in December, and with it comes a new social space, the Lighthouse. Thanks to a recent Bungie stream, we're able to give you a glimpse of the new area. And for a look at some other Curse of Osiris content, you can check out our gameplay video of the expansion's first mission. Yeah, uh, we've you know kicked out some some carpets, we've lit some candles, and uh, this is a functional space. Uh, I am armed with a weapon, but uh, I mean this gentleman no harm. So much like our interaction with other in destination uh, vendors, uh, Brother Vance has uh, assumed a, a functional role as somebody who will guide us and reward us. Absolutely. Uh, he, he sits within the lighthouse, um, much like uh, Failsafe, you know, as, and, and Devrim. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and others. The, and there you go. And this, this will be an opportunity for you not only to learn a little bit more about Vance, but then also how Vance sees Osiris mm -hmm. and, and his eagerness for his return. Yep. And uh, we can see here that uh, oh. Vance has his own engram. Yep. And uh, the, uh, the levels have been raised. The levels have been raised. Uh, player level is up, we're bringing it up to 25. Okay. And your light level will go to 330 um, as a soft and 335 if you've got your mods. Okay. Very good. And uh, we will be taking a look at all of the gear that you'll be able to pull out of this engram in the third stream in the series. Uh, although, for the time being, uh, I figure there's no harm in me showing off the warlock gear that you'll be able to add to your collection. And uh, this dresses me up as a proper follower in the Order of Osiris. I'm looking uh, Egyptian and badass myself right now. And uh, just to take in a little bit more of the space here, uh, we can see that Brother Vance is uh, very much the scholar, very much the, uh, the seeker, if you will. A little obsessed. Just a little. <laughs> or a lot. We prefer the term captivated. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the entire space has been redressed. Mm -hmm. and we, we, we want to make sure that we, we want to tell that story visually as well, that, yeah. that not only has Vance come back, but then other followers of Osiris have started to come back yes, as well. Yes, yeah, we got a gathering of his followers right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two fellows right here, mm -hmm. near and up. dear to my heart. Look at that, they're exos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking mean fellows. Uh, this is a place of study, this is a place of learning. Uh, these guys have more books than the speaker. <laughs> the too soon? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Uh, so the uh, the gate there is live. Uh, we will go through there in just a moment, but there's more to look at here in this space. Sure. As I move through slowly and deliberately, like a cinematographer. Uh, here's something I'd like for you to tell me a little bit about, Dave, but I think when we have Dan Miller, uh, the game director for Curse of Osiris in the hot seat next week, mm -hmm. I think he can give us a little bit more context what is this installation right here? So uh, this is basically a tracker or a history marker for some of the optional activities that you're going to be able to have as a player mm -hmm. at the end of campaign. Okay. Um, the uh, if if you actually look at your your hand cannon that you got it in your hand right now, yep. Um, that's actually one of the destiny theme uh, destination themed weapons. That is like basically the notion is older weapons that Osiris has grabbed, taken, and modified using Vex technology. Yeah. Um, you actually have an opportunity to to go and adventure for. Uh, the ability to forge these types of weapons. Okay. And that, that object that you're looking at right now, that actually shows you the markers of all the different ones that you've been able to create to date. Yeah, so we've got a couple of glyphs or runes or some sort of holograms here that are active. And uh, each of those nodes represents a different weapon? Absolutely does. And uh, I will acquire these throughout the campaign, after the campaign? A How does after the campaign. Okay. And, the, and it's, it's all optional quests that you can do as a player. And so each one, each one is, is represented by a quest? Yes. And I can see here that you've uh, you seem to have hacked into some Vex technology, and uh, wired it into this installation mm -hmm. over here. Yep, we call that the forge. That's actually where you'll take uh, all your elements and yeah. you bring them together, and you're able to forge these weapons. Look at that. We're worse than the fallen. Okay. Uh, and then uh, as we move over here, we can see that uh, as always, the lighthouse has a lovely view. And uh, you'd mentioned before that there's always been a player curiosity to leave the confines yeah. of this space. What's on and, the surface, and yeah. See what's beyond. out there. See what's out there. So this is a good opportunity to satisfy that curiosity. Destiny yeah. has always been about exploring. We should go through the gate. We should go through the gate. Here we go. So uh, we're going to see what's on the other side. 
And here we go. We are going to visit Mercury for the first time. 